As you can see, the man is mixing the ground, extracting the thinnest part from it, avoiding granulates and pieces of rock. This part of the process is very important because it determines the quality of the mixture, in other words, the quality of the blocks. The ground is prepared for the mixture, water is added to it. More than working with exact proportions, they add the water slowly till they consider that the mixture has reached the right consistency. At the right side of the image, you can see the wooden casts, where afterwards the mixture is going to be dropped in. But the mixture is not done yet. In order to produce an adobe that holds, you need to use an aggregate which binds everything together. In this case, dried wheat has been added. The wheat needs to be cut in small pieces according to the sizes of the blocks. The wooden cast needs to be wet before the mixture is dropped. Like their ancestors, they mix the mixture with their feet in a type of a dance, dedicating all their work to the gods and praying for the security of the future building. Some centuries ago, their ancestors used to sing during the ceremony. We weren't that lucky this time because they were ashamed to sing in front of our cameras. Maybe next time. The mixture is done and ready to be dropped in the cast. The man takes the new clay by hand and presses it down, ensuring like this the solidity of the blocks. It's important to verify that the wooden cast is wet to don't have any problems later by taking the frames out. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And voila! Here we have our first handmade block. Once again with the smallest one. And here we go, our second handmade block. Being you the one that builds the frames, you can also determine the sizes of the blocks. Obviously, they will depend on the type of the building. Within two days, the blocks dry and will be ready to use. <laughs> 